Yes, I'm really interested about looking through deeper and then maybe buy one. Maybe it was the record high gas prices or you're wanting to be more environmentally friendly. The Electric and Hydrogen Expo in Edmonton had more than 4,000 people come and check out their zero emission vehicles over the weekend. The event was put on to encourage drivers to consider zero emission vehicles as a way to take action on climate change. Zero emission vehicles play a huge role in reducing our impact on climate change, reducing energy use and improving air quality. The city of Edmonton says electric vehicles emit on average 41% less greenhouse gases than traditional gas or diesel vehicles. Despite the great impacts EVs can have on the environment, many are hesitant to make the switch. I was concerned about them when they were seeing on the news where they catch fire. My initial question though is how am I going to charge it or where do I charge it if I run out in the middle of the highway somewhere? What happens? And while driving an EV has become more accessible, the director of the Electric Vehicle Association of Alberta says there could be improvements. You can go east, west and south without pretty much any issues. Uh, going up north unfortunately is still an area where it's a bit of a charging desert and there isn't many options up there. Plug and Drive is a nonprofit who advocates for electric vehicles and is calling for better charging networks on roadways across the country. When was the last time you went to a gas station and there was one pump? That's sort of silly, right? And so we would like to see proper stations. Let's call them charging plazas, shall we? And wouldn't it be wonderful if these plazas had nice greenery around them, had 40 or 50 chargers at them, had restroom facilities, places you could walk the dog, um, you know, convenience foods. I mean, that's the kind of thing that would attract people to come and charge there. According to statistics, Statistics Canada in the first quarter of 2022, more than 93% of zero emission vehicles registered in Canada were in British Columbia, Quebec and Ontario. By 2035, the government of Canada has committed to mandating that all light duty vehicles sold in the country are zero emission. In Edmonton, Laura Krause, City News.